And recently we know, okay, the COVID-19 has a, made a significant impact on the whole world, causing significantly um, people's uh, death and also economical damage. So it is still ongoing, this pandemic. So we have, a, have get access to one of the data sets from the, one of the hospitals in China. So we analyze the, their data, patient data, to try to learn what kind of drugs and the drug combination can reduce the, the recurrence of the COVID-19 from um, patients. So the background here is uh, uh, the, 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 uh, our research was based on the one of the hospital. And we know although the MRA and other vaccines and the new drugs significantly reduce the clear conditions of mortality of COVID-19 patients, but the virus mutants and the, uh, some unvaccinated people are still uh, infected and cause the hospitalization and uh, even uh, deaths, although much less. But the, the patient after they discharge from the hospital and normally they were put into the quarantine uh, period. But during the quarantine period time, and the, the hospital and the, we noticed uh, quite a, a high frequency, a chance opportunities, uh, the patient diagnosis positive again. And some patients and uh, with so, the so-called recurrence, recurrency. And some patients even have a multiple recurrence, you know, because positive and negative, positive and negative. Uh, several times, as many as three times. So this uh, uh, this phenomenon was not noticed uh, uh, widely, but uh, we noticed this is a, a very significant portion. In this uh, hospital, in China hospital, the recurrence rate is almost 20%, but more than 20%. So this uh, gives us a, a, a significant you know, uh, impact in public health uh, policy and also the quarantine. Um, policy, so after the patient uh, discharge from the hospital, so the we analyze okay the one uh, the case in the hospital to see uh, the, what drug and drug what drug combinations at, in last year uh, can have an impact on the the uh, the recurrence um, a frequency or the probability or is there any kind of effect is uh, related to the uh, other uh, compounding factors. So we asked the, the question is, you know, the, what can drug, com all drug combinations has a better effect reducing the recurrence of uh, uh, COVID-19? Are there any difference in the subgroups of the patient in terms of the age or body weight status or others? Yeah. So here's our workflow of our, our machine learning process. First stage, we collect the data. So this, uh, in this hospital in the last year, from the uh, January 11th, 2020, to the uh, February 16th, 2020. So overall, it's about 417 patients in the hospital, enrolled in the hospital. And so the, the stage two, because these are uh, different groups of the patient is uh, unevenly distributed. To avoid the bad, bad, uh, we the number of patients in each group, recurrency or non-recurrency patient, are not even distributed. To avoid in bad, uh, the bias of the data, so we applied uh, a statistic uh, or machine learning uh, algorithm for the synthetic minority oversampling technique. So synthetic uh, to avoid uh, the the unbalanced data during the uh, rare events of the recurrence in some subgroups. Then the next stage, we applied the multi uh, uh, virtual matching uh, technique to improve to increase the some population samples um, using the uh, virtual uh, twin technique. The stage four, after we generated the relatively balanced data in each group subgroups. Because we, as you can see later on, we'll analyze a group in very de a small details in subgroups. So the next stage and our hypothesis is, okay, all the treatments uh, are not, make no difference. So we're testing our hypothesis is true or not true. And 
uh, last stage you just compare the effect of every uh, treatment to the best. So as I said, okay, these are designs uh, to include all the patient, discharge patient from the hospital. Then put them at home or they design a quarantine for four weeks to follow up. So the RT-PCR performance to di uh, diagnose the uh, positive or negative of the COVID-19 was performed uh, every other three or four, five days. So the patient age, BMI, gender, a disease is severity, hospitalization delay, or imaging features, just like a uh, lung a consultation, ground glass, opacity, and primary infiltration, primary infusion, and also the, uh, the treatment, also different drugs. Um, the information is collected. So the, during that time, last year, there's no specific drug uh, of the, uh, effective for the COVID-19, as everybody knows. So this group, this hospital, just use all possible uh, drugs, uh, which has been more or less not, uh, not officially approved, but uh, prescribed by the doctors, the, uh, the ICU uh, or the hospital um, <coughs> doctors. So they totally, okay, they use uh, eight different drugs in the, from the uh, Lupavir, uh, Ratavir, this antiviral drug, interferon, or the methylpredinolone, which is an anti cytokine storm um, drug, a tosy, this is MAF, 96, IL 6 drug, or Satvir, as an anti flu drug, Rambavir, which is anti, another anti, uh, I believe it's anti HIV drug, Pilovir, hydroxychloroquine. So they try every kind of possible drugs in the hospital, in the <coughs> alone or in combination. As you can see, because this uh, prescription drug is no really standard uh, uh, guidelines at that moment, not, not, not here. So the, <coughs> the doctors, all the prescriptions really depends on doctor's uh, uh, decision, or either uh, by himself or just uh, by the, uh, or use a, a drug combination. So here is a, a data from the uh, severity of a, a drug of the uh, use in each drug or combination. Because I will see, let me. Okay. Yeah. So because each single drug has no specific uh, efficacy, so the doctor tried different you know, combinations. So during the different combinations, we uh, analyze the data, we pick up uh, eight different, you know, uh, uh, different, different combinations. This is mostly effective uh, in the treatment or the reducing the recurrency, the lowest one. So in terms of, you know, the, but in each group, as you can see, the patient uh, size are different from, you know, as low as 31 to as high as uh, 116. Okay, different drugs, combination treatment. So the, uh, the group uh, distribution of patients very uh, uh, unbalanced. The also the treatment, <coughs> uh, a different group. This uh, severe uh, or con uh, critical conditions of the of the patient are, are various, are different. So those kind of uh, various. Uh, 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 may make uh, some big difference on bias of the uh, sample uh, groups. So this all uh, 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 my, uh, bias and also the different phenomena of the severities or age, etc., uh, need to be neutral, uh, uh, normalized. So we use a uh, uh, virtual multiple uh, uh, matching and technique, and basically this. Uh, idea is to just uh, set up combinatory drugs under consolidation. So with a, a G computation approach, it's a pseudo observation. So we just a uh, hypothesis and uh, treatment, treatment evaluation comparison. 
uh, the the user subject is a, which is referred as a virtual uh, matching. So the technique, a virtual uh, a twin matching technique, is a basic uh, is a is use a, a random forest and be fit into each one of the A combination treatments, and they use this uh, prediction, uh, use a, a virtual a random forest to pre predict the each patient's performance. In every other, in all other groups, then we put this uh, this patient uh, predicted result in to each group. So eventually, we'll generate uh, all the make it all the groups the patient sample are same size. And but this assignment of the patient either uh, uh, no recurrency or current uh, re recur recurring are uh, de determined by the random forest uh, technique. So, but uh, during this process, to avoid the rare events, you know, for example, in some groups, the recurring is a very uh, small portion of patients. If you use a uh, straightforward random forest uh, uh, mechanism, mechanisms, for example, as you can see on the right side here, if we just don't use some uh, and the, the other technique, we call this SMODI, SMODI, the synthetic molarity oversampling technique. Some minor events will be merged, will be uh, disappeared, and uh, because due to in the process of the uh, random forest prediction. So we use the syntactic uh, similarity oversampling technique to overcome this uh, this kind of possibility, these possibilities of the uh, rare events uh, uh, disappearing. So we uh, this technique basically amplify the rare events. Uh, uh, probability, then not just by artificially, uh, but uh, no, by uh, the officially increase the 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 rare events uh, probability, but the after they amplify the event, the weight of the this uh, rare event, the the will be reduced propor proportionally. So the basic idea here is okay, we just increase the event uh, probability, but reduce the weight of the uh, each. Uh, Rare events. So in this case, we can we can avoid okay the disappearing of the uh, rare events during the uh, the sample size increase and the virtual matching uh, uh, procedure. So afterwards, and the after a twin match, so every group have a, a relatively even uh, number of patients. And also the recurring or normal people or the frequency or uh, predict will be uh, one come from the real data, another one from the uh, random forest uh, prediction. So then we assume this uh, uh, each treatment combination uh, and is a as a, a frequency as a, a, a belong to the beta uh, uh, distribution. So the class the beta regression model is a uh, is used in this case. So the following is uh, our discoveries. So here's a, a summary of a, ten, uh, a patient uh, 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 viral shading and association recurrence with age and disease uh, uh, severity. So in the A is a viral loading. The threshold cycle value is uh, as normal as everybody uh, did in the world. So 40 cycles. So the CT value is a judgment of the positive or negative as a, and the common uh, criteria for the whole world. Then the B, and then the left uh, bottom, the, this is a summary of the median duration from the onset of the symptom to recurrence. So the different uh, the peop the individuals have a different uh, duration time uh, from the uh, the uh, discharge to recurring, or from the first recurring to the second recurring, up to a third recurring. So they are uh, very different. So they varies from some people as low as uh, five days, uh, and as long or as long as uh, twenty one days. That means okay, some patients you know after eight days they recurring po test positive. Some patients you know test positive after twenty one days. Yeah, so it's very different. So C okay, the data panel shows. 
association between the age and recurrence. As you can see, the given the age of a patient, the, uh, the recurrent uh, uh, probabilities are different. Okay. If the older people has a higher frequency chance to recurring. Uh, yeah. So the D is shows association between the severity and the recur recurrency. As uh, you can see, it's a, it's a not uh, straightforward. As a, for example, as a, uh, the mild uh, a patient has a less uh, recurrence uh, frequency. It's a not it's not that straightforward. Uh, so, but uh, there's there's a trend that says a severe or critical patient with higher frequency uh, to re recur to be recurrent to recur. Yeah. Here's a uh, uh, among the eight. The groups we divide the, uh, the whole population patients, so that no individual drug shows significant impact on the recurrence. As you can see, the different drugs individually, and they, in their group, they cannot really have a significant impact on the uh, re pre uh, preventing recurrence. So the p-value on the last column you can see, and the there is no a single drug. Okay, and it has significant in, um, effect on the preventing recurrency. So we use uh, one of the drug uh, combination, Mopivir, Rentalavir, uh, as uh, a baseline because this drug has a least uh, efficacy. So that's uh, we use that one as a, a comparison. So every other drug compared to this group. <coughs> The, then, because no single drug has a, a significant effect on the, uh, on the recurrence, so then we, <coughs> do diff we did a different combinations of drugs, all possible drugs and uh, they used in the hospital. So then they, we found out the A groups uh, summarize the best, or either by itself or, or the combination represent the best effects on the uh, Re recurrency re uh, reduction. So among all those, <coughs> the one of the group here we just give a code one five six, which is a uh, mesopredictolone and interferon, and uh, the six uh, is a uh, uh, lupinavir uh, combination ritanavir. This is a combination. So the four drug combination can have a significant impact on the recurrence uh, probabilities. So the uh, the probability is uh, as low as uh, 0 0.008. So these are combinations. So here just to show the different drug treatments on the, the different uh, drugs on the different groups, uh, different age of groups. So and as, as also as the BMI conditions. Yeah. So the x axis is age. And the uh, y axis is a BMI, the obesity status. So the different uh, groups and combinations after the virtual matching and technique, so the, the number of the patient sample is uh, relatively equal to each other. So this uh, shows the uh, the red dots represent recurrence, recurring of the uh, SARS-CoV-2 patient. The black dots represent the non-recurring patients. And uh, from this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, visualization uh, representation of the uh, patient uh, uh, status, as you can see, 156 uh, has a relatively uh, low number of recurrence. So then we compare <coughs> use, um, uh, use all the groups and the combinations. And we find out 156 here, the combination, the four drug combination, uh, can significantly reduce the recurrence. Here's a, a another a phenomenon we, we find out: the different drug combinations for the recurrence really depend also depends on how long you uh, ad, they admitted uh, in the hospital. So we we have a cut lines. Okay, for example, the patient feels some symptoms and. And until the time admission to the hospital, either or this time is before 
three five days or short uh, the longer high five, five days or shorter than five days. A different color of in these lines represent a different treatment and the uh, recurrence of probabilities here. And the top one just summarize all the data. It's a little bit complicated data, but it summarize all the different combinations of drug treatment. So the X axis is age, so from 20 years old all the way to 70 years old. The Y axis is a recurring probability. So a different color represents a different treatment. Here's the explanations of uh, what uh, the different drug uh, uh, salt or the combination of drugs. We found out the, the onset time of the patient from the symptom the, the, the field to the admission of the hospital has some kind of impact of the recurrency in this case. So the, the best one for the, <coughs> the impact of the, uh, the, uh, the overall population is still 156 one, combination. So but this uh, impact is a minor. It's not significantly uh, big after, uh, before the uh, or more than five days or uh, shorter than five days. To admission. The interesting thing we found out the drug effect on the recurrence of the uh, SARS CoV 2 uh, really depends on age, also depends on the obesity status. As you can see from the left side, okay, is a uh, effect of different drug, or drug combinations on the different age from 20 to 70 years old, or this is a normal weight on uh, people. And on the right side is a uh, uh, overweight people. Okay. So the different drug combinations on the currency are quite different. It's, a, it's a very interesting. So the, for most of the uh, normal weight patients, so 156 is still the best from the age of 35 all the way to 65. Okay, it's the best, okay, uh, the drug combination is the best effect on the preventing the recurrence. However, for the overweight people, the drug combination 456, here is 456, has the best effect up to age 50s. After age 50s, okay, the five or six by himself, okay, has the best effect. Which is understand, which is uh, from thinking about the, you know the medicine or the patient status, which it kind of makes sense, because obese people in, in general has a little bit uh, weak, weaker immune system, so the drug one is a uh, immunosuppression is a hormone reduces uh, the uh, inflammation and cytokine storm, so the but but the overweight pa pa patients they have a weak immune system, so they have a less chance. To develop um, the cytokine storm, but definitely they get the uh, the weak in the immune system. Then the uh, uh, the virus can replicate faster in their body, so they have a higher chance and to become critical and uh, severe conditions, even death. We know that numbers, but however, during the treatment, then they need less of the immunosuppression to prevent cytokine storm. Okay, so this become uh, uh, very interesting. So they need a uh, more antiviral uh, drug for the patient. And so for the young people here, the normal people, it's very interesting. This line represents you know one, five, six plus other drugs. So so immunosuppressant antivirals and also anti other antiviral drugs. Okay, we put several others. Like seven, eight, uh, seven or eight, they young, for young people, they need those kind of drugs to prevent uh, recurrence. Which which means, okay, they need both uh, uh, treatments of the antivirus, also anti-inflammation for young people because they have very strong immune systems. They can easily develop okay, uh, uh, cytokine storms or those complications. So this kind of uh, results uh, in terms of biological uh, meaning or the medical uh, 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 knowledge which makes which kind of make a lot of sense so in conclusion here and so 
So we, ha we find out this drug combination, lupinavir, ritonavir, or interferon, mesopredictolone itself, the combination, leads to the lowest uh, recurrency over, uh, uh, the recurrency frequent probability overall in all the populations. However, in certain uh, patient uh, subgroups, the other drug combination has an optimal effect. For example, in the nopinavir and retinavir or interferon combination, four or five, or five or six combination for older group uh, is best, which makes sense because the older group, as we uh, <coughs> we can we, we, we know they have a weaker okay immune systems, so they really don't need the immunosuppressant drug okay to prevent the recurrence. So although we study uh, uh, the recurrence phenomenon itself, but I think okay this knowledge we learn we can probably expand to the general treatment when they consider uh, the, uh, the patient treatment. So and, and that's and <laughs> the addition of the immunosuppressant mesopredicolone together with the antivirals and the uh, uh, drugs uh, and also interferon is best for the young people. So in this case, okay, antivirals effects plot together with the anti-immunosuppressant uh, drugs is the best. For the young for young group, for obese uh, patient group, so they're quite different from the uh, other patients. So the antivirus drug, so the four, five, six, is the best for the for them to prevent the recurrence. Yeah. So that means okay, they don't need the anti, the uh, cytokine storm or the immunosuppressant uh, drug. Another int very interesting uh, discovery we find out is uh, interferon during, is uh, always a major uh, regimen in all the groups. So in this case, okay, as we know, most people think, okay, definitely interferon by itself is no specific activities or significant effects, but the combination with other antiviral drugs and is a uh, performance is the best. And also in France, they're all included in all the different best performance groups, subgroups. So the, we know this is a not surprise uh, phenomenon because we know all the viruses, some viruses, including uh, SARS-CoV-2, one of the mechanisms for them to survive or to replicate in the human body is to suppress immune, uh, interferon secretion when they infect the human body. So that's been discovered. but. Uh, Later on, the reason why the interferon has not been widely used for treated COVID-19 patients is because the people think about uh, interferon may cause okay, the over immune response or so-called cytokine storm afterwards. But however, during the, our analysis and also during in another clinical trials I was involved, the engineer inter, uh, interferon itself has significant effect to reduce uh, uh, the hospital stay or <coughs> patient uh, the, the critical conditions of COVID-19 patients. So that means, okay, they, there is a, a double sword, that's so, so-called, okay, and, uh, and for the interferon in treatment of viral infections, including COVID-19, they, as a, they in general, interferon itself has a better, has a, has a, a beneficial effect. But however, at the same time, we have issues to think about, you know, how to control the immune response and then also in certain storm, okay. So that's a very interesting uh, discoveries during this uh, uh, study, also during another our clinical trial study. So the, so the COVID-19 patients often develop pro-market overwhelmed cytokine storms, uh, as we mentioned before, they, that's the main cause for most of the people of, of the mortality. However, the, the admission of anti-inflammatory uh, 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 drugs, and then this one, uh, mesopredictin, I show the the slow down the drug progression and then reduce the death rate for in general population, but not for the uh, some uh, subgroups. For example, older people or obese people. Okay, this is very interesting. So another interesting discovery was the uh, another drug, Nupivir, was the first discovery in the uh, the, the, first, uh, the previous SARS uh, pandemic in in China, uh, in the screening. So, but the self is not a specific effect, but in combination with other anti -drug, uh, antivirus drugs, it shows some regular effect.
that's a general conclusion from our study analysis of this data. Okay, next slide. 